again, we're here today with the awesome Bev from Bates. And we're going to talk about the Bates Advanta saddle and how we can adjust it to fit the rider. We all know these saddles are adjustable to fit the horse. <sighs> Snore, boring, old news now. Let's think about how we can adjust them to fit the rider. So sit back, make yourselves a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. So here's Bev from Bates, and here's the Bates Advanta saddle. And whilst it's sitting here, she's gonna quickly tell you the two points on the saddle that are adjustable for the rider. But it's kind of three points really, but it's two, but it's three, you'll find out why. And then we're gonna pop it on a horse with the rider, and we can see those adjustments made with the rider in the saddle, and to see what difference it makes to the rider's position, and how the rider feels, and how the rider is secure, etc., etc. I really like the Bates Advanta. It's a saddle that I choose to ride in often at home. Um, one of the reasons why I prefer it is because it is super adjustable, not only for the horse, as Poppy had said, but it's also adjustable for the rider. So point one as to where it's adjustable is the stirrup bar. So we can adjust the stirrup bar forward and backwards, three different positions to accommodate your lower leg. So we can bring your lower leg further forward if you've got a shorter leg or if you want to ride shorter, and we can bring it further back, obviously, if you've got a longer leg. So we can adjust the angle as well of your leg from your hip. Point number two is um, the adjustable flexi contour block at the front, um, of which underneath the saddle, if you can see, we've got two screws of which we can loosen off, and then we're able to manipulate and move that block forwards and backwards again, so the block will fit comfortably against your knee depending on what angle your leg falls out in the saddle. And adjustable point number three is uh, we have exactly the same thing at the back here, the adjustable flexi contour block for the rear as well. So one, two, three. I think this one really is magic and as we get, get going in the arena, you'll see why. Um, yeah, it's turning a knee, it's turning a knee yeah, like that. Yeah. So it's going to feel a bit weird because obviously your legs are now. Actually, this one's no, better already. Yeah. This already. Feels it, yeah, it looks way this. better. I mean, and look at to, from that to that. This leg. It's so different. Legs. Yeah. So we're looking at the bad leg first. Yeah. Yeah. So, in a long time. Park it up, baby. So as Bev was explaining with the stirrup bars being movable, we've done a little experiment and we've put this stirrup bar on the furthest forward position and we've put the other one on the furthest back position. So let's just have a look at this one on the furthest forward position. Can we see here Lizette's knee is coming away from the saddle, nowhere near the knee block. How does it feel, Lizette? Uncomfortable. So it's currently feeling a bit uncomfortable on this side. That, now that doesn't mean that the furthest forward setting feels uncomfortable for everybody. Obviously, otherwise they wouldn't have invented it. But it just means that for Lizette and her body type and her shape and her horse shape, etc., etc., the currently the furthest forward set one isn't really suitable for her because it's making her knee come away from the saddle. And if we look at her side on, when we think of the whole shoulder hip heel alignment, where's her heel? Because it ain't nowhere near the shoulder and this hip line, yeah? It's miles further forward, so it's sitting her in what we would call a chair seat. Think of someone sitting on a chair. This is a chair seat. Lizette looks like she's having a little nap on the sofa. We don't want her to look like that. So we'll have a look on the other side and see how that one looks on the further set back position and then see which one she prefers or will she go for something in the middle. So this here is a stirrup bar on the furthest back setting. So when we look here, when we're talking about her shoulder, hip, heel alignment, shoulder, hip, heel, way way much better now again it doesn't mean that this position is going to suit everybody but for Lizette and her horse this is obviously suiting her much more and can we also notice that her knee on the other side her knee was coming right away from the saddle and this side it's much better in but when we look at the block here she's still quite a distance away so now we're going to look at what we can do to change the block to help it sit against her leg better before we move on to the knee blocks and the thigh blocks I'm just going to let Bev explain a little bit more about these stirrup bars 
Okay, so the adjustable stirrup bar can be moved into setting number one, which is at the front, setting number two, which is center, and three, further back. We've moved the stirrup bar further back, and obviously we've now improved this entire shoulder, hip, heel <laughs> angle. Um, and the angle here means that now the knee and the leg and everything is falling in a much more comfortable position than it was before. Now it's quite a common thing for us to expect maybe a shorter leg to need the furthest forward setting which is actually what I need because I've got shorter legs so I technically normally go on to setting number one however it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the case so it is very much on a case-by-case -case basis on how tight your hips are at your hip joint um, where your leg falls the length of stirrup that you prefer and then once we've sorted out the positioning of the stirrup bar and making that comfortable for the for the hip for the hip joint we then move on to uh, adjusting the blocks to accommodate the leg okay so now you can see that we've moved the stirrup bar as far back as we can on here so that's on the setting at the back and you can see here if you come you can see here where this would sit they sit in the little rivets there and then we click that down and now that's secure so this will actually this piece can slide forwards and backwards and we've got it far back at the moment same on both sides now we're going to have a play with these but all you want to do really is loosen it so it's a little bit lefty loosey please don't put that on a little bit lefty loosey lefty loosey please don't put that on lefty loosey so we're just going to loosen this off so what we've done is we've just loosened the screws off here so that means we can actually move the block and whether you can see the, the difference in angle there that we can move. So we can move this all the way to here to make this angle kind of shorter here. If we've got a longer leg or somebody that's knees coming further this way, we can move it that way, tighten up the screw. So there's actually quite a large degree of movement there that we can have with the adjustable block. We can do the same with the block at the rear here, but I actually don't think that we need to make any adjustments to that for you today. Maybe as we're going over a fence and we're assessing the lower leg position, it may be that you'd want to maybe angle that possibly forward a little bit. But for the time being, we're just going to focus on this block at the front. And I think if we've got this almost as vertical as we can make it, actually, because of the, the, the leg position that we were at before, I think that should work fine. Um, my recommendation at this point would be to try and have a play with it still loose. So then we can tighten it up once we've absolutely nailed that with the rider on board. So for Lizette, you're saying we're going to put it as straight as we can um, and, and leaving it loose so that we can pop her in the saddle and then we can move if we, we need to a move bit of a play. it. Yeah, a bit of a play with it. And it's perfectly safe to be left loose riders in the saddle because it's still screwed in, it's just loosened slightly. Yeah? Absolutely, I wouldn't recommend making any changes to this without your saddle fitter present because this can actually affect the balance of the saddle. So it's not something I would recommend you doing yourself. You really do need a professional to help you with this. I'm a professional here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've now made the adjustments to the stirrup bar and the front block. So we altered the angle here. The rider's leg position is now perfect, um, so we're ready to ride. How do you feel, Lizette? This is far more comfortable now. Than it was. I feel in a good position, comfortable, feel safe. Um, so although we're doing this statically, like standing still here today, let's not forget this is a jump saddle as well. So the majority of the time, Lizette's actually going to be up in a two-point seat and jamming her legs against the back of the saddle here, or over a fence, or cantering, etc., etc. So it's difficult to show, just sort of stood here, the difference that it can make. But hopefully you can still see the difference it's made to her position and how her leg sits in relation to the blocks just by tweaking those things. These bait saddles are not just adjustable for the horse because we know they are. We know that they've got the heart system now, they've got the interchangeable gullet bars, they've got a visor system, they've got the care panels, but also some of the range come with this adjustable stirrup bar we've just seen in action here, and there's this Advanta saddle here, and also the Innova and the RT Stressile saddles can come with these external adjustable flexi contour blocks, and that was a total mouthful, and it took about 17 takes to take, but there we go, adjustable, flexible, contour block things. <laughs> <laughs> So that was a bait Advanta jump saddle and Bev and I were showing you the adjustments that we can make to it for the rider. So we all know they're adjustable for the horse but also for the rider. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed the video please don't forget to press like, subscribe to the videos and you can even press the little notification bell and that will inform you anytime a video is released. Because I do loads of videos about saddles, saddle fitting, saddles, saddle fitting, saddles you get the general gist of it. Anyway, take care, stay safe, lots and lots of love.
Out. Action. Oh, here we go. Outtake. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Awesome. And how we can adjust it to fit the rider. Yeah, use her. Oh. Hey, we're here. To the. Uh, <laughs> just quickly, now you can see that we've moved the stirrup bar to the further, furthest. Furthest <laughs> Outtake. Can you do like an outtake thing? <laughs> okay, so now you can see that we've moved the stirrup bar to the. Poppy shadow. <laughs> Okay, so now you can see that we've moved the stirrup bar to the <laughs> back. I'm just going to say back. Okay, so now you can... <laughs> and also the Innova and the RT Stress R shadows come with these, these external, ad just because they're external, external, <laughs> adjustable. <laughs> these external Exter adjustable. See, Innova Dress R shadows come with these external, adjustable, Flexi. Flexi blocks. Contour block. And also come with these external and come with these external adjustable flexi contour blocks. Um, no, I'll edit that, that's fine. I might even leave it in. Let's, let's... And the adjustments that we can <laughs> Can I just sorry, can I just adjust your hair? Because it looks like you've got a little pixie spike. That's all on video. <laughs>